All right, lesson on solving trig equations. Similar to inverse trigonometry, except there can be multiple answers here, and we're not worried about the restriction of where the angle is. We're just trying to find all possible answers on the unit circle between 0 and 2 pi. So tangent theta equals root 3. We're working backwards. What angle would give us that answer? So we need to know the definition of tangent, which is y over x. And then if I go y over x, what gives me that answer? Now one thing I look at is just the numerators. So like if I look at root 3, and if I look at 1, and then I put 2 on the bottom, I can see a point that it connects with. I certainly hope this video is not going to be my camera going in and out the whole time. I hope it settles down. Let's see if I can get it. Maybe because it's not close enough to the camera. Let's see. Let's see if you get a little bit closer. All right, so if I look at it here, and I'm not gonna do this for every question, um, the x is 1 half and the y is root three over two. We also need to know, because we're doing multiple quadrants, we need to know what quadrants are we looking at for tangent being positive. So that's quadrants one and quadrant three. And so I see this as a 60 degree reference angle. So in quadrant one, it's pi over three. And then I'm gonna count, that's two pi over three. This is 4 pi over 3. So the two angles that solve that equation between 0 and 2 pi are pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. We need to know our unit circle. Here, sine theta is equal to a half. Sine and cosine are easier. Uh, the y coordinate then is 1 half. That would make the x coordinate root 3 over 2. This is a 30 degree reference angle. And again, I need to know what quadrants I'm looking at. So when it's positive, it is quadrant number 1. So in quadrant number one, it's one pi over six. But what other quadrant is sine positive in? And it's right here in quadrant number two. So what's the th uh, 30 degree reference angle in quadrant number two? And that answer is five pi over six. A lot of times these questions are gonna have two angles that work between zero and two pi. And number three, my first step is to get sine theta by itself. So the inverse of negative a half is to multiply both sides by negative two. So I'm gonna do that first. That leaves me with sine theta on the left, and then two goes into four twice, so I have negative root three over two. I recognize it. That's my y coordinate, negative root three over two. I also recognize that the, uh, the x could be positive or the x could be negative. It could be either one. So. All students here, of course, take calculus. Where is sine negative? Well, not here and not here. So these are the quadrants we're looking for. This is a 60 degree reference angle, which means the radian is over three. So in quadrant number three, it is four pi over three. And in quadrant number four, it's five pi over three, knowing your unit circle. Number four, to get cosine theta by itself, divide. And then when I divide and simplify, I get negative a half. So the x coordinate's negative a half. The y coordinate could be positive or negative root uh, three over two. The reference angle, so I know that both of these angles are over three for radians. Then the quadrant that we're looking at. So where is the x coordinate negative, like cosine? So it's not here uh, and it's not here. Those are where they're positive. So these are the quadrants I'm looking at, two and uh, three. So in quadrant two and in quadrant three, and then know your angles. Number five, I wanna solve for tangent theta. So I'm gonna add three, and then I have negative one. I know it's y over x. So which point y over x would give me negative one? So one option is, negative root two over two and root two over two, and the other option is root two over two, negative root two over two. So what quadrants are we looking at? What's the angle? So I know it's 45 degrees. So that means it's over four. What quadrant are we looking at? Because tangent is negative. So it's not one and it's not three. These are the two quadrants we're looking at. So that's three pi over four. In this quadrant, it's seven pi over four. And the more you practice, the easier the unit circle is gonna be. Number six, to get tangent by itself, divide by two. That means tangent theta is equal to root three. 
So the point that gives me root 3 when I go y over x is uh, 1 half. No, yeah, 1 half and root 3 over 2. So if I go root 3 over 1, that matches this. That's a 60 degree reference angle. So I know that my denominators are 3. Now I need to know what quadrants we're in. So tangent is positive. So we're looking at these two quadrants, quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. That's 1 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. And it's okay if it takes more time to try to figure out the angles. Number 7. I need to get cosine theta by itself. So I'm going to add 3. Now I need common denominators to put this together. So I'm going to multiply by 2, top and bottom. That gives me negative 5 plus 6. That's positive 1 half. So I know the x coordinate and I know the y coordinate. Now I need to know the reference angle and what quadrants we're in. So this is a 60 degree reference angle. That means the denominators are over 3. Uh, cosine is positive. So that means we're looking at these two quadrants. And so in quadrant number 1, it's 1 pi over 3. And in quadrant number 4, it's 5 pi over 3. Number 8. I need to get tangent theta by itself. I kind of want tangent theta to be positive. So I'm actually going to go subtract 2 to both sides. But I'm also going to add 3 tangent theta too. That's going to make my life a little easier. So by doing that, 5 take away 2 is 3. 2 take away 2 is 0. And now I have 3 tangent theta on the right side. I'm going to divide by 3 to get tangent theta by itself. And now which point gives me that? So that's root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. That's 45. What quadrant are we in? So I already know the denominators. 45. 4 is in the denominator. Where is tangent positive? In quadrant 1, in quadrant 3, and then that's 1 pi over 4, and that's 3 pi, no, 5 pi over 4. Got it. Number 9. To get cosine by itself, super simple, subtract 4 to both sides. Now here's a situation where there's one answer only. So the x coordinate is negative 1, which means the y coordinate is 0. I like drawing an actual circle on a graph and go, where's negative 1, 0? There it is. And what angle is that on the unit circle? And the answer is pi, and that's it. So there's only one location where x, uh, cosine is negative 1, and that angle is at pi. Number 10, last one for our lesson here, and then we're going to practice till we get it right. We're going to add 1 to the other side. So negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Then divide by 4 so that tangent theta is equal to negative 1. Now, what point is that on the unit circle when I divide and get the answer 1, whether it's positive or negative? So I know it's a 45 degree reference angle. So that means it's over 4. And then what quadrant are we in if tangent is negative? Well, it can't be this one or this one. Those are the positive ones. So it has to be in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4. And you did it. Mr. G Math over and out. Great job. We're going to do our homework together now.